Here's my Whirlpool WTW5300 VW2 washing machine direct drive. And today I'm going to show you how to adjust the water level. Adjust the water level. It's right here. You just turn it and that's it. Thanks so much for what? No, you know there's more than that. we got to get this controls panel up here. The assistant will pop the clips. Okay, that one's off. If you just feel under there, you can find the clips and pop them. The wood switch is here. You want to be careful on this side. Okay, yep. there it is. There we go. Okay, so now we have that unlatched. I'm just kind of yank on it and pull it. And there it is. There's the magic screw. So we're going to have to turn that. But first thing is we want to get this filled up so we know where the water level is and then we can adjust it from there. So we just have the water level switch set to super plus and we're going to let this fill up all the way. Okay, the washer has filled up, the lid is open, I have disabled my lid disable switch. So the lid switch is enabled and it will not agitate with the lid open. You can see that the water does not quite make it to the top row of holes and that's what we're here to correct. This is the tool I have available. This is a 3 sixteenths socket. Now because of the tight quarters we need something that will get in there without uh, you know giving us a problem. Over the years my mother had given me a plethora of stupid dollar store tools that are utterly useless like this one here which came with a bunch of bits but the handle looks like it'll be useful. So that'll work just fine right there and we can turn it just a little bit at a time which is exactly what we want. All right we're gonna give this about a quarter of a turn clockwise so I just gotta get the wrench on there so give me a second please while I do that. That's in right there and that was about an eighth of a turn with what I can get here at this angle and I can't seem to get on it again. <laughs> there we go. You can push it in a bit. Okay. If you just push it in, it should reset. Yep, it just opened. Okay. So then. Um, so now what we'll do is uh, I have the power to it turned off. So we'll flip this. Uh, no, we could actually leave yeah. it. Open that up and we'll turn the timer on and with any luck it'll fill. Indeed. And now all we have to do is see where it's going to fill to. Obviously, if it's going to overfill, then you went too far. That looks great right that there. That looks perfect. <laughs> that it's looks like great right, right there. Right at the top. Yep, I think that's pretty good. So, all right, anyway, there we go. That's how you do it. Not a big deal. As long as you have a wrench or something like that that'll fit in there, you'll be all set. I guess you could, if you have a, a socket this small, you could also use that with a little quarter inch drive wrench that would also work, but this is what was handy. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.